Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to spend this beautiful morning with you as we dive into today's devotional and prayer. If you've ever felt frustrated or discouraged by delays in your life, this message is for you. Today we're going to talk about something that I know many of us can relate to, trusting God's timing and understanding that delay is not denial. We've all been there, waiting for a breakthrough, a prayer to be answered, or a door to open. But I want to remind you that just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean God isn't at work. He has a perfect plan for you. And we're going to explore how we can embrace that truth in our lives today. Before we begin, let's take a moment to invite God's presence into this time together. Let's open with a prayer. But before we dive in, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our faith-based content. We're building a community of believers who encourage one another to grow stronger in faith, and I'd love for you to be a part of it. Now let's get started. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning with open hearts and humble spirits, ready to receive the wisdom and peace that only you can give. Lord, we acknowledge that your ways are higher than our ways, and your timing is always perfect. As we enter into this time of reflection, we ask for your guidance. Help us to release our anxieties, our impatience, and our doubts as we learn to trust fully in your plans for our lives. When we face delays, remind us, Lord, that you are still at work, weaving everything together for our good and your glory. Grant us the grace to walk in faith and patience, knowing that you will fulfill every promise in your perfect time. Strengthen our hearts and minds today, and may your presence be with us as we grow in trust and understanding of your divine timing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 1. God's timing is perfect. Trusting in God's timing is one of the most challenging yet essential aspects of our faith. There are moments when we pray for something, pour our energy into it, and expect it to happen immediately. But when it doesn't, when we're met with silence or what seems like a delay, it's easy to feel forgotten or even discouraged. But friends, let me remind you today that God's timing is never late. It is always perfect, even when we don't understand the reasons for the delay. He knows the right time, the right place, and the right way to bring his plans to fruition in our lives. Every moment of waiting is part of his divine purpose, working behind the scenes in ways we often cannot see. One of the most comforting scriptures that reminds us of this truth is Isaiah 60, 22, which says, When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. This verse reassures us that God has not abandoned our prayers. He's not indifferent to our needs. Instead, he's preparing us, aligning circumstances, and waiting for the perfect moment to bring about his will in our lives. What may feel like a delay to us is actually God's preparation, ensuring that when the answer comes, it will be greater than we ever imagined. In those seasons of waiting, it's easy to become anxious or frustrated. But remember, God's timing is tied to his deep love for us. He sees the whole picture when we can only see a fragment. He knows the exact moment when his plans will not just bless us, but glorify him in the process. We may feel like we're waiting for something to happen, but God is actively preparing both the blessing and our hearts for what's coming. Delay is not denial. Often when we don't see immediate results, it's easy to assume that God has said no to our prayers. We might start doubting, wondering if our requests have been ignored. But here's something we must remember. Just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Delay is not denial. God operates on his own timeline. And what feels like a delay to us is often his way of protecting us, preparing us, or aligning the circumstances in ways we can't even imagine. Sometimes God knows we're not ready for what we've asked for, or he sees that the right people, the right opportunities, or the right season hasn't arrived yet. So when you're waiting, understand this. You're not being ignored, you're being prepared. Let's look at Joseph's story in the Bible as an example. Joseph had a powerful dream, a vision from God that he would one day be in a position of great leadership. But instead of stepping straight into that dream, Joseph faced years of delay. He was betrayed by his brothers, sold into slavery, falsely accused and thrown into prison. 
It seemed like everything was going wrong and his dream must have felt further away than ever. Yet God was working even in those delays. Every hardship Joseph faced was part of the divine plan to shape him into the leader he needed to be. Those delays were preparing him for the exact moment when he would rise to power and fulfill the destiny God had shown him. What felt like a detour was, in fact, the path leading him to his purpose. So, if you're in a season of delay, take heart. Like Joseph, your delay is not a denial of God's promise. He is using this time to prepare you for something greater. He's shaping your character, strengthening your faith, and aligning everything according to his perfect plan. Trust that he knows what he's doing, even when you can't see it. 3. Practicing Patience in the Waiting one of the hardest lessons we learn during seasons of waiting is the practice of patience. It's natural for us to want things to happen quickly, especially when we feel like we've done everything we can and the results just aren't coming. But patience is not a passive act. It's an active display of faith that says, Lord, I trust you, even when I can't see what you're doing behind the scenes. I believe you are working, even when I don't see immediate results. God often uses these waiting seasons to shape us in ways we cannot understand in the moment. Waiting refines us, molds our character, and stretches our faith. It's in the waiting that God is teaching us to surrender control and to rely more fully on Him. As we wait, we grow, our roots of faith go deeper, our understanding of God's love expands, and our endurance is strengthened for what lies ahead. When we practice patience, we acknowledge that God's timing is better than our own. Waiting isn't a delay in our journey, it's a necessary step in our preparation. God is often preparing us for the very things we're praying for, equipping us with the strength and maturity needed to handle the blessings He's about to pour out in our lives. Psalm 27:14 offers us this beautiful reminder, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Waiting takes strength. It takes courage to stand firm when nothing seems to be happening. But in those moments, God is growing something within you that will sustain you for the journey ahead. 4. Reflecting on God's Promises If you're in a season of waiting right now, I encourage you to reflect deeply on God's promises. The Bible is a treasure trove of assurances that remind us of His faithfulness and His good plans for our lives. In Jeremiah 29, 11, we find a promise that speaks directly to the heart of those waiting. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. In times of delay, it's easy to become discouraged or feel forgotten, but God's word reassures us that he has not left us. His timing may be different from ours, but his intentions are always for our ultimate good. Keep these promises close to your heart. Write them down, meditate on them, and speak them aloud over your life. God's plans for you are greater than you could ever dream, and His purpose is always unfolding, even when you can't see it. Waiting is not a passive season. It's a time when God refines us, builds our character, and prepares us for the very things we've been praying for. Trust that every delay is part of His design to lead you into something far greater than you could imagine. When doubt or frustration starts to creep in, remember this, God is faithful to fulfill every promise He has made. Not one word of His will ever fail. Just as He has been faithful to those who came before us, He will be faithful to you. Take heart and let His promises anchor you in hope during this season of waiting. Heavenly Father, we come before you in awe of your goodness and perfect timing. We acknowledge that our human understanding is limited, but you see the end from the beginning. Lord, in moments of waiting, when we feel weary and uncertain, help us to trust that your ways are higher than ours and that your plans are always for our good. Remind us that even in the quiet seasons, you are working, aligning every detail according to your divine purpose. Father, grant us the patience we need to endure the waiting. Strengthen our hearts and renew our spirits so we may not grow anxious or disheartened, Help us to release our timelines and desires into your hands, knowing that you are orchestrating something far greater than we could ever imagine. We pray for discernment to recognize your guidance and peace that surpasses all understanding to guard our hearts in every situation.
And Lord, for anyone here today struggling with doubt or frustration, I ask that you fill them with a fresh sense of hope. Let them feel your presence so strongly in their lives and reassure them that you have not forgotten them. May we all rest in the assurance that you will fulfill every promise in your perfect timing. Thank you for being our steadfast rock, our constant refuge, and our loving Father. We trust you completely and place our lives in your hands. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being with me today, for taking this time to reflect and pray together. I hope this message reminded you that even when life seems to slow down or doors appear closed, God is always at work. His timing is perfect, and He never delays without a reason. What might feel like a pause is often preparation. Trust that the things He has promised will come to pass, not a moment too soon or too late, but right on time. I want to encourage you as you go about your day to hold on to the truth that delay is not denial. God sees every tear, every prayer, and every effort you make. He is preparing something beautiful, something beyond your imagination, and He's calling you to trust Him in the waiting. When you surrender your timelines to Him, you open the door for His peace to flood your heart. If this devotional spoke to your heart today, I invite you to share it with someone who might be feeling discouraged or anxious in their waiting season. Let's spread hope, peace, and faith to everyone around us. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any future devotionals, prayers, or inspirational content. Your support means the world to me, and I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you. Before you go, I want to leave you with this thought. God's delays are never wasted time. They are times of growth, of refinement, and of preparation. So let go of the need to control, and instead, embrace the beauty of trusting His plan. His timing is perfect, and He is never late. Thank you again for being part of this community of faith. I pray that God surrounds you with His peace today, that His favor rests upon you, and that you are filled with His joy and strength for the road ahead. Keep trusting, keep believing, and keep moving forward in faith. Remember, God's got this, and He's got you. Take care, stay blessed, and may God's light shine brightly on your path. Until next time, may His grace, love, and favor go before you always. God bless you abundantly. God's delays are not His denials. Wait on the Lord. His timing is perfect.